All right, good morning to you. It is 8-11 right now. Good to have you here on Q13 Fox News this morning. Governor Gregoire throwing her support behind the legalization of gay marriage, saying it will be part of this year's legislative agenda in Olympia. Antioch Bible Church pastor Ken Hutcherson is against the legalization of gay marriage, and he joins us this morning with his thoughts on these new developments. Thank you for being here. Pleasure, man. Thank you. All right, so, uh, Pastor, what were your reactions when you heard the governor make her announcement yesterday? Well, I think the number one thing that really surprised me is they are putting this as such a high priority. Um, she has not been a great governor in the aspect of helping the state uh, economically. We've lost all kinds of jobs and businesses. Uh, Boeing has moved some of this uh, operation and corporation away from the state. And then in her last part of her term, she wants to make uh, same-sex marriage the top issue for the legislature on the short session. Uh, so I think that her priorities is really messed up. And I think the reason why she's doing it is because uh, she owes the gay community so much, um, so many favors because of their support in her first two terms here. Well, be, be that as it may, I mean, the governor talked extensively about what she had gone through philosophically over the years and trying to come to grips with this. And, and as she put it, she says, it's time. You know, that the philosophy had caught up with the times, much like the, the civil rights movement did uh, back in well, the see, 1960s. That's, that's the thing that, that gets me, is that she compared what uh, the homosexual community is going through with uh, separate but equal in the black community and what they went through. And that was an insult to me. There's no comparison whatsoever. But that's not even avalanche, not even the same category of fruit uh, when she brings that up. Now, I, I don't think I've ever seen a homosexual that had to ride the back of the bus or have uh, different water fountains or be put in different bathrooms. But they can't be married. But, and I guess, but, I guess but that's But there's a the lot issue. of people that can't be married. Can you marry your sister? Well, See, I well, mean, there, it, <laughs> there are biological reasons for that one. But it, because it's also the law, right? The uh, biggest problem that we have is that I stand strictly on what the Bible has to say. Uh, I wouldn't be here if I didn't believe in the Bible. I wouldn't be in this fight because I've lost friends. Uh, standing on what the Bible says. I've lost promotions. I've lost opportunities because of what the Bible says. So uh, it, is a, it boils down to one thing. God says it is wrong. It is not good for society. And anything the Bible says is not good for society. That's where I stand. All right. Let's talk a little bit more about that. You know, mm -hmm. obviously Seattle is a, has a lot, a lot of vibrancy when it comes to the gay culture. And oh, no a lot doubt. of viewers watching are maybe disagreeing with some of the things you're saying. Mm -hmm. When it comes to um, a traditional marriage, right. aside from the label of it being a marriage, mm -hmm. what are your issues with it? If, 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 the, if the label didn't exist, mm -hmm. what, what, el what else is, is the issue that you take with that? I think we have a real serious problem that no one wants to face, and that is the, uh, what's going to happen with the freedom of religion. Uh, just yesterday, I don't know if you guys even knew, that uh, in Hawaii... The courts rule that you as a church cannot have an exemption when it comes to civil unions and marriages for same-sex marriage. And it's going to get worse, guys. It's happening in every country, every nation, every state, uh, inside the United States also, that when this becomes a legal issue, then the uh, religious freedoms are going to be attacked. It seems like the only people that is right to discriminate against these days is Christians. So let me ask you this, going further into that. Mm -hmm. if, if there wasn't a law that forced, as you're saying, um, people to marry in unions that they didn't agree with, would you, if it doesn't affect you personally... It does not, affect me. Okay, so, if, if, so you're saying if, um, if they do allow gay marriage, mm -hmm. um, and it, you're saying it does affect you personally yes. to see a gay couple married, how, how, how so? Can you explain that? Yeah, because I, what I just said, I think you may have missed... It is not going to stop with just gay marriage. They're not interested just to be married. They're interested in eliminating anyone that thinks is wrong. And they want to be accepted regardless of what I say, you say, or anyone else says. And the only way to get something accepted is to eliminate those that is against it. Okay, so hmm. State Senator Ed Murray uh, is a gay rights supporter. We had him on the show just a little while ago. Um, I asked uh, him what he would say to you right. to get you to change your mind. Right. And uh, here's what he had to say. I respect their religious beliefs, and this bill would not infringe on their religious beliefs. It would not um, uh, 
require them to re marry anybody or to recognize a marriage they don't want to recognize. But what I would say is spend time with a gay and lesbian family. Spend time particularly with maybe a lesbian couple who has children. Get to know that family. Uh, think about your own values of charity um, and, and, and think about offering, uh, supporting uh, that family by offering them um, the equality and protection they, they need and they deserve. So what do, you, what do you think of that? Oh, I think it's a great statement. It, I think it's just misleading to think that I, I don't know homosexual couples. I don't know homosexuals. That's probably more homosexuals in the church you know, that has changed their lifestyle than anyone wants to admit. I dealt with counseling with homosexuals. I dealt with the whole aspects of uh, the abuse that goes on homosexual relationship. The eight couples that brought a suit against the state of Washington years ago, of the eight couples, do you know how many are still together? One. Well, let's it, talk, it, it, so when we're looking at marriage, when I look at marriage, when I look at relationships, I want to base that up on what the Word of God says. And it is not healthy to have relationships at times that is that fluid and that moving. And there is couples that have been together for seven, eight years, but there's also heterosexuals that have been together that long. We just have a, a few more seconds here, but I do want to ask you this. There is a human rights issue here. And in our state right now, we have uh, an everything but marriage, marriage right. uh, situation going on. And, and, and the big thing... And what Ed Murray brings up, and I think it's a valid point, mm -hmm. is that you have gay couples that don't have visitation rights if the other is sick in the hospital. Mm -hmm. yeah, they don't have the same benefits. They mm -hmm. don't have the same rights. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't really matter what you call it, does it? I, I think that if they <laughs> think it was important what they call it, why they fight for it so much? They also have protection under the law with wheels and other things that they can say what they want to happen and who they want to have the respect and where their material and everything else goes. The issue is they want the word marriage and they want to be respected for it and they do not want to have a stigma on them that is wrong. Can I, I, I know that we're out of time. I have to ask you another sure, question sure. based on something you said earlier. We've been talking a lot about um, the personal journey that Governor Gregoire says that she went on right. in order to make, come to this decision. She's a Roman Catholic. Right. We've been talking a lot about religion and the freedom of religion. Right. Isn't the freedom of religion, wouldn't some people say that that also encompasses other religions that might um, also believe in a God, but in a way that disagrees with this particular issue? Sure. I, I think that there are other news stations also, but <laughs> you work for this one. Right. And I work for an evangelical church, so it doesn't matter what some other religions say is what I believe the Bible say where I won't be standing before God and I want God to say well done good and faithful servant instead of like most Christians are going to hear you are well done because you didn't live very well. <laughs> Pastor Ken Hutcherson thank you so much for being here and as a fellow cancer survivor. I hey brother right on man. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Good to have you. Thanks Thank for your you. time. All right. Eight